What's good guys, it's Magus and it's loot time yet again. So I'm back in the treasure room for another look see at what I can grab myself. And at the end of the uh, first playthrough, that is with my uh, playthrough siren, SMG only, I'm actually going to do a few runs here with that as a looking for loot episode as well. Kind of decided that the other day, so I'll have something good to go into. Ooh, plasma caster. Uh, so I'll have something to go into uh, True Vault Hunter mode with. So that will be amazing. And also, I have new headphones, so I'm talking a bit louder than normal because of the bass. The bass is blasting my ears out, which is a little annoying, but I've yet to equalise them. I also have a new mouse, which is a Thermaltic eSports one, which I'm actually really happy with. And, well, I'll see you in the next run now. So I'm back in the second run, and um, here is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be doing a new series, and oh my god, I didn't get a fire. And it's going to be called A Noob's Guide to Borderlands 2, and it's going to go from the start of the game right through to the end of it. Wow. Obviously, I'm going to let you play for, de for a day in between each episode or whatever, so I will be skipping certain things out. In fact, I'll be keeping everything in, but it will be kind of like I'll be going in stages like things that you need to know that you may not will be bought up when I assume that you should kind of be around there I may get a little he ahead of where you are, I may get a little behind where you are but the tips that should still be lovely. useful because obviously you go for a th few playthroughs of the game and I'm full so even if I get anything good I can't take it so yeah you go for a few playthroughs of the game and also from the start I will be helping you to consider what class you'll be using and all that kind of stuff like um, for me, I chose a siren because I'm really health conscious, and uh, that's pretty much what I think the siren's amazing at. That's why she works so well for me because I'm really health conscious, and she's got so many things that can like boost her health, give her health regen, and all that kind of stuff. So there'll be more on that when it happens. And we are back here on the end of this episode, and I decided that I'd do a Terramorphus run just to see what we get. And just because we are assured that little legendary right there, even though it's never anything special, it's always nice to see the orange drop, even if you have no intention of picking it up. So, what I was saying is about the Noob's Guide to Borderlands. It'll probably be named the Beginner's Guide, actually, as Noob is a bit detrimental. But basically what I'll be doing, I'll be going through every step of the game, telling you where secrets are and things like that, what skills should be buffed, etc. And what still should probably be nerfed, but won't be. Um, and just kind of things like that, and how the game has changed and stuff. Because not everything does as the description says now, because there have been that many changes and stuff. Like, for example, Money Shot. It says the maximum Money Shot bonus is 100. Is it 1000%? I believe it's 1000%. 400% at that, so I believe it's I believe it's a thousand percent. It states a thousand percent, but it's actually twelve hundred percent, which you can get the extra bonus by having two more bullets in the mag, which is a little bit silly as it would be easy enough to update the cards. But anyway, that is just one example of what I'll be going through. So thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you all later.